Hi, welcome to this seven day EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques. Um, tapping in the new, whether that's new year, new thoughts, new feelings, new intentions. I'm Dr. Susan Thompson and my intention is to make these short videos for you to practice EFT and also really focus on uh, different intentions using the balancing statements that my EFT group has developed over this last year and a half throughout COVID. Uh, this is day one. It's January 10th, 2022. Can you believe it? And what I'd like for you to do is to start with writing down an issue that you want to tap on um, or clear. So take just a minute. I'll take a deep breath. Um, and write a note to set your intention for this particular tapping round. Include a particular issue or thought um, that you want to focus on. And when we tap, we usually include three elements. That issue, which could be a situation or a thought, um, an emotion, um, and be really specific about the emotion itself. I'll offer some different ideas as we're tapping. Um, and the body sensation. So you're tuning into your body. And then rate the intensity right now in this moment. So the situation might have happened in the past. But it's how you're feeling about it now. What's the intensity now on a scale from 0 to 10. Um, and write all that down. We're going to always start with tap and breathe. That's what we do in group two. Uh, um, and then um, normally we tap until the um, intensity is down to a zero, one, or two. But for this challenge, um, we're going to tap a round or two on the particular issue. And then what we're going to do is tap in the new balancing statements, tapping in the new. Um, and um, I'll try and include maybe 15 or 20 of the balancing statements that the group has been developing over this last year and a half. So tap along with me. Um, I bought you a little bit of time to write something down. Um, so we're just gonna start with tap and breathe. Um, and so take a deep breath, we'll start with the outside of the hand. We almost always start with the outside of the hand. Deep breath in. And slowly exhale. Take another deep breath. And slowly exhale. The next point is at the top of the head, so it's right in the center. Um, deep breath. And slow exhale. I'm going to take my glasses off. Eyebrow, deep breath in. And slowly exhale. Side of the eye. Slow breath in. And slow breath out. Under the eye. Keep tuning into the issue that you wrote down. Deep breath. And slow exhale. Under the nose. Slow breath in. And even slower exhale. Above the chin. Deep breath. And slow exhale. Collarbone. Deep breath in. And slowly exhale out. Under the arm. Slow breath in. And slow breath out. Good. And just check in. See what the intensity is now. If it's changed, that's great. If it hasn't, that's okay. Um, so just to go over the points again. Um, outside of the hand top of the head right in the center. You might see different recordings that have people tapping around here, but the point is actually the very top of the head, kind of in line with the ear. The next point is called the eyebrow point, and that's at the edge of the eyebrow. 
It doesn't matter which side of the, um, the body you tap on. Some people tap on both sides at the same time. Um, and one or two fingers is fine. Right. Next one is you follow the uh, eye socket around side of the eye on the bone. Under the eye is right also on the bone directly under the eye if you're looking straight. Under the nose, um, between the nose and the upper lip, one or two fingers is fine. And above the chin, be below the lower lip and above the chin in that crease. Good. Um, the next one is called the collarbone. So this is your collarbone directly under your collarbone. Um, in the past, I've, I've said where the collarbone um, actually <laughs> um, um, meets, so right in this point, but um, it's actually, or what, where the ribs meet the collarbone, that's what I've done. Um, in this point, so if you're actually tapping pretty close to under the collarbone, you're gonna be fine. The next point is under the arm, so you find your armpit and just below, where you've put your hand um, is the under the arm point. And you can see that I've crossed over. Um, you can do that, or you can tap the way that I've been tapping, which is make a loose fist um, and tap with the, the side of your hand. Right. And then you check in. Right. So the next round that we're gonna do is actually identify, we're gonna use the template that we typically use in my tapping group. Um, and you're going to identify the issue, and I'm going to say name the issue, and you'll say the issue, um, what the feeling is. Feelings are um, typically the ones that um, are the most difficult ones to deal with are anxiety, grief, shame, guilt. Um, there might be others, um, embarrassment, uh, confusion. If you don't know what it might be, you can use confused or conflicted. So any of those emotions um, would be ones that you would write down, one that you would write down. Um, and you can just pick one. You don't have to pick a lot of them, just pick one. Um, and then body sensation. So I'm gonna use a prompt that says what the issue is. Um, and you're, I'm gonna say what, and I feel, um, and where it is in your body. So you just name um, where it is in your body. Um, and then I'm gonna, um, say balancing statement number one um, and I'll say balancing statements so you can re repeat the first um, ones uh, with me and then um, I'll we'll do one round with just the issue and the problems issue 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 um, and then we'll shift to just the balancing statements so are you ready so on the outside of the hand um, even though I have this issue, so say your issue, and I feel, what's the feeling, the emotion, in my body? Where are you feeling it in your body? Right. And the first balancing statement, and one of the recommended ones, is I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. So we usually tap three times, um, say the sit, set up statement three times uh, as we're tapping on the outside of the hand and I'm gonna switch um, throughout the time. So this is the second round. Even though I have this issue, so name the issue, and I feel, whatever the feeling is, in my body, where is it in your body? Um, I'm learning to accept myself even through this. So third time here. Even though I have this issue, so name the issue again, and I feel, what's the emotion? In my body. Where, it is, in, where is it in your body? What if it's safe now? to feel how I feel mm -hmm. and think how I think. Top of the head. This issue, eyebrow, and I feel, 
side of the eye, in my body, under the eye. Of course I have this issue, whatever the issue is. Under the nose, why wouldn't I feel? Fill in the blank with the feeling. Above the chin, it's in my body. So name where it is in your body. Collarbone, it's okay to have this issue. And I feel in my body. Under the arm, it's okay to feel how I feel in my body about this issue. Okay. So we've named the issue. Now we're gonna use some of the balancing statements. And you've heard a few of them already. It's okay to feel how I feel. Eyebrow, what if it's safe now for me to feel how I feel? Side of the eye. I'm open to knowing another way. Under the, under the net, I. Yeah. More and more, I remember, I am so much more than what's happening now. Under the nose. I'm allowed to feel how I feel and think how I think. Under the nose. I'm open to knowing another way. Collarbone. Um, what if it's safe now for me to feel how I feel? Under the arm, in this moment, I'm safe, if that's true. Top of the hand, head. <laughs> um, it's okay to feel how I feel. Eyebrow, my screen has gone blank. I put it up on my uh, my my computer and the screen's gone blank, so I'm, I'm going through it in my head. <laughs> um, more and more I remember. Right? So you fill in. What do you wanna remember about yourself? Side of the eye. Ooh. Little by little, I remember. What is it that you want to remember about yourself? Under the eye. I'm open to learning more. Whatever it is that you want to learn about for yourself. Under the nose. I'm learning. Name the skill that you're learning. Maybe it's, I'm learning I'm safe. Above the chin. It's okay to be who I am. Collarbone. I'm allowed to think what I think and feel what I feel. Under the arm. And oh, by the way, I'm open to a miracle too. Under the uh, top of the head. Uh, I'm open to big miracles. Eyebrow. I remember now. I have more skills and strategies than ever before. Sigh the eye. I know more now than I did then. Under the eye, I'm okay. Under the nose, I'm doing the best I can. And maybe they are too. Above the chin. I'm allowed to feel how I feel and think how I think. Collarbone, it's safe now for me to feel how I feel and think how I think. Under the arm. Yeah. I'm manifesting miracles in every day. 
All right, so we'll just pause for right now and just check in. So um, we've done about 20 today. We'll do at least that many tomorrow. I welcome you to this challenge and I'm looking forward to talking to you at some point. Take good care. See you tomorrow.